we are going to look more into the differences between primary, secondary, and tertiary literature. Primary literature, also known as the research article, presents results of original research. These are new discoveries and share new information. They can come in various formats such as articles, pre-publication prints, technical reports, lab notebooks, and conference proceedings. It is a direct observation in which the author is who conducted the research. You can identify a primary article in the scholarly literature when an abstract introduction, materials or methods, results, analysis, discussion, and or conclusion and reference sections are available. Secondary literature, also known as a review article, presents a summary of previously conducted research. The article you read last week was a review article. They look closely at a particular topic during a certain time period and interpret information. Because they review many research articles, they are very helpful to use to get a good overview of a topic and they have many references that you can look at. You can identify a secondary article in the scholarly literature when there is an abstract introduction, analysis, conclusion, and references. The last type of source I'm going to tell you about is tertiary sources. These are sources that index, abstract, organize, compile, or digest other sources. Some reference materials and textbooks are considered ter tertiary sources when their chief purpose is to list, summarize, or simply repackage ideas or other information. Tertiary sources are usually not credited to a particular author. They might be written by staff writers and not the scholars in the field. Now let's go through some examples. What type of source is this? All right, next one. What type of source is this? Let's go on to the next one. What type of source is this? And last but not least, what type of source is this?